<coughs> once again, why is it uh, so important to talk about the uh, environment, the architectural environment, when we are talking about uh, learning? I'll try to take you into the theory that we in Loop BZ are working with. We normally do in our schools, we have lectures, we have reading, and we also have some uh, movies, some audio visuals. Uh, this is the main part of, let's say, the old traditional school where I was uh, going to school. And, and uh, this is about learning by heart. You listen, you try to remember. You listen, you try to remember, and you do that over and over again until you remember or you leave school. Uh, <coughs> in the other hand, we have, uh, you would say, where we try to get the students into a reflection situation, into a situation where they are exploring the world <coughs> and where they are teaching the other students, could be the younger, could be their uh, friends. Uh, and we all know, if we just feel into <coughs> what we have experienced ourselves, it's when we have experienced something and we try to tell it to our friends, to our parents, to our children, that's when we know what we are talking about. Where we really improve creativity, really improve humanity, socialization, then I think, of course we can solve the problems. So this is why it's so important to discuss how do we do schools today. And the architecture around the schools, we, uh, around this, <coughs> table and in this room, we all agree that uh, acoustics is so important. The last one, the learning landscape, is in fact where we went out to a school where we went from this down to this and then five years later we asked them if uh, we would ask you today how would you then want your school to be? And the teachers and the students, we didn't have the parents into this discussion, they came up together with us as architects and planners with this uh, model where the whole area was shared where there was as many options as we could uh, develop and uh, the diversity of course was instead of, 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 uh, of flexibility and you really need to take care of uh, the acoustic of course because the, it's so much more difficult for the teachers to be in this new learning system and it's so much funny for the students. Thank you. And the students, if they don't think it's funny, we know they don't learn anything. Your brain is only working to take in, to learn, to, be, to cope with new situations. If you are curious and you are in balance and you think it's funny. Otherwise, it's just so sad. It's just the only thing you are, th only thing that you can be thinking on is when is this going to stop? But they are slowly giving up. They are slowly moving back to you could say a little different kind of uh, classroom teaching. But it's just to let one of the students say what the teacher would say. And here they are in back in classroom teaching. And this is mostly. I would say 80, 90 percent, yes, two minutes, it's because of the acoustics that it, it doesn't work for them, it's too noisy for them.